here again. Um, so today what we're looking at is uh, some Dreamcast power supplies and uh, how to do a cap change on them. So we're going to replace all the capacitors on this Dreamcast power supply board. Um, reason being is because I've noticed a lot of issues um, with these power supplies. I think just the capacitors dry out on them. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, why they dry out so quickly. Um, maybe just from age, but I've recently discovered that um, bad power supplies have caused one of my lasers on one of my Dreamcasts to not even turn on. Like the rest of the unit works perfectly fine and um, the spindle spins up, the CD spins, but the laser doesn't actually turn on, like you can't see it turn on. The head for the laser moves, but you don't ever see the laser actually turn on. So um, I'm hoping that when we change the capacitors on one of these boards, that it will solve our problem on the Dreamcast that I'm trying to repair. If you saw my last update video, you would have seen um, where I actually used a known good power supply board. I recently changed all the caps on it and it actually fixed the issues um, that I was having with that bad Dreamcast. Um, and there's going to be a link in the description below um, with all the values and sizes and the DigiKey part numbers um, for those capacitors. Um, but anyways, enough uh, talking about Dreamcast power supplies, let's just go ahead and get started on uh, changing these capacitors out. Alright, jump cut there. Um, so I've already desoldered all the capacitors from this board here. Um, so the only thing that's left for me to do is to solder the new capacitors in. Um, now these electrolytic capacitors are um, polar sensitive, so they have polarity, so you don't want to put them in backwards or anything. Uh, use some common sense when you do that, otherwise it'll blow up in your face. <laughs> so um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get started and start soldering these new capacitors on. So let's go ahead and get started with that. We're back here. Um, so we've already got our um, seven new capacitors put in. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, install this back in our Dreamcast and uh, we'll see if it works. All right, now um, we've got it all put back together. When I was working on it, um, the fan wasn't coming on, but the power light was. Um, so I went back and tried, since this is a new motherboard, um, I did bend the pins on the power connectors for the motherboard back towards the back just ever so slightly because it wasn't making good contact. If I pressed, and you, you want to be real careful if you do this, don't muck around with anything or else you'll get a really nasty shock, but um, I pushed the power board forward slightly and the fan turned on. So I knew there was a problem with the power pins. Uh, so I did bend those ever so slightly. But even when I did that with the old power supplies, the laser wouldn't turn on. And um, if you notice here, when I turn it on and it comes to life here, I don't know if it'll show on camera, but there will be, if I hold the tray close button, ah, uh, it doesn't show on camera. There is a red light showing in that lens right there, um, and that tells me that I'm getting power 
to my laser, which is awesome. That means we now have a fully working Dreamcast. So the only thing left to do is to put it all back together now and finally test it with some games. So let's go do that. Oh, and to um, just to prove that there's an issue, I haven't changed the caps on this one yet. I'll go ahead and install it now. This is actually a different board from the one I just built. We'll go ahead and do that. Now the power and the fan turns on like normal, but yeah, that laser isn't turning on. I don't know if I can maybe get it. There's like no light coming off of that. So there's definitely something wrong with these power boards that causes the laser not to turn on. And if you have any issues with the disk drive constantly telling you that it can't find a disk, that may actually be your problem. Before you go fiddling around with the potentiometer in the back to change the focus level and stuff, I would do a cap change myself. That's what I'm going to start doing from now on. Because that, it definitely makes a difference. I mean... If I swap back the old board... I want to try to get this in shot. Like, if I swap the old board back... I wonder if I can do this. I'll turn the console on. You see that laser turn on in there? See it? It doesn't show red on the camera, it shows like a blue tint, but... I mean, yeah, like, seriously. I'm gonna swap back right now. This is crazy. I can't believe this. Alright, so I got the new board in. And I got the AC in. Alright, I got my hand there, and... Look, no light. That is mental. Look at that. It's got to be something with the amps or something. That's crazy. Anyways, let's plug the old power supply back in and we'll, um, or the new one I should say, and we'll put it all back together and test some games. Alright, so we got it all back together. So this is the fixed Dreamcast here. And I got the new power supply in it. Um, I'm going to use an original copy game. going be Mr. Driller. We'll put it in. And... So that's good, we've got the menu loading. Uh, of course. Oh my gosh, and look at that. The miracle of a capacitor change, folks. This is... This is mind-blowing stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's an A button, I check again, continue with that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we saved another... another Dreamcast from the grave. Um, Mind the, the flicker there, that's just a result of the tube TV that I'm using uh, coming up on the camera. But yeah, I mean, clearly it's working. Please wait while disc is being checked.
and it reads the disc and it starts. Awesome sauce. Well guys, if you got any questions about this, um, let me know. I've got a forum post that I put up about all the capacitors I use to do this fix um, and the DigiKey part number so you can order them directly from DigiKey, the exact same ones that I got. But I'm going to call this one a success. I'm going to work on the next power supply and fix the next Dreamcast I got too. So uh, see you guys in another video.